with one plastic bucket. It wouldn't be strong enough to handle the pressure. Five buckets inside each other should get the job done just fine. Now I'll pry the other handles out with a screwdriver. So the bottom of this top bucket ends right here, and I'm actually going to cut off all the other buckets from there on down. So that leaves us with one really strong bucket and four little buckets. Now I'm going to drill a couple of eighth inch holes through all walls of the buckets and thread a piece of copper wire through to hold everything in place. After wiring the buckets together in four places, now I'll drill a bunch of 3 16 drain holes all over the bucket. So I drilled four rows of holes around the bucket for a total of about 100 holes. Now I'm going to build the box around my press with four 18 inch long pieces of this 2 by 10 shelf. So here's all the pieces to our wood box. Now I just need to put it together with these really strong lag bolts. I found the center of the top of my press and this is a 5 8 inch bolt so I'm going to drill a 5 8 inch hole right here. Now I'm going to drill a hole in the center of this scrap of wood that's just slightly smaller than the largest diameter of this nut. And then hammer it in. Now I'll put my threaded rod in the press, put on a washer, put on this plate, and screw it in with four screws. Now I'll use the bottom of a bucket to trace out a plunger and cut it out. The threaded rod has a little bit of an indent on the end, so I'm going to put a curved top screw right there for it to press on. And I'll screw down a board to guide it. On the top end of the rod I have two nuts and a washer, and I'm going to use two wrenches to tighten these nuts against each other. Now the press is complete. We put a ratchet on this nut to turn the threaded rod, which presses the plunger and squeezes the apples. Thanks for the help, Travis. We walked away with about 600 apples. Here's our first batch of apples. Here's our setup. And here we go. And there's our ground up apples. Now it's time for a bath. And a blow dry. So our ground apples go into our press bucket. And that bucket goes into the press. We'll drop in the plunger, put in the screw, get the screw down to the plunger, and start pressing. Did you realize with only 10 pounds of force on the ratchet, you're putting over 2,000 pounds of force on the apples? And there's our sweet apple cider. Now what we have left is a bunch of dry apple crumbs that will make excellent compost for your garden. I'll pour my cider into an old distilled water bottle. Delicious. Oh, you should heat this to at least 160 degrees to pasteurize it before drinking. Thanks for watching.